Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Microsoft Edge security updates that are finally rolling out, which Microsoft made available late yesterday in my region on the 21st of November. Now, there's actually quite a lot going on with this update. It's not just a security update. But first of all, to double check, you have the latest point release. We head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And this process will force the update if it hasn't done so already to version and build 131.0.2903.63. Now, first of all, Microsoft says, as always, they have fixed various bugs and performance issues. Those are common um, fixes that roll out with most point release updates for Microsoft. And then, of course, we get our security updates that have rolled out. Now, first of all, we get one edge-specific security update that has rolled out for the actual a browser itself and it's a Microsoft Edge spoofing vulnerability so that's one edge specific vulnerability that's been fixed and then of course we get our three security fixes that I've been talking about on the channel that have rolled out for all the Chromium based web browsers and those three security fixes are addressing three high severity security flaws which are all type confusion in the v8 javascript engine so quite a lot going on with the security side of things in this update so just make sure you're fully patched and up to date with this latest version and build now the um, re release notes also um, mention that they fixed an issue when you were trying to delete your browsing data so if we head to our history and you can also access this from your main menu but if we head to history Click on um, the delete button and clear browsing data. They fixed an issue which prevented the delete browsing data dialog window from closing after clicking the clear now button. So if you were experiencing that little issue, that's been patched with this. So that's just one of those niggly little bugs um, that could be a bit annoying, um, but that now has been addressed. Now, that's according to the official change log. Now, I have noticed one or two things that have also rolled out over and, over and above um, the security updates, the bug fixes, and so on. And I have noticed with both Chrome and Edge, we are getting a lot of new little tweaks and adjustments with point release updates and not with version upgrades. So, it's just something I've noticed over the last couple of months. Now, first of all, just a very small adjustment is if we go to our downloads... This used to be empty. So if you don't have any downloads, it says now uh, in the description, when you download files from the web, they'll show up here. Okay, that wasn't there prior to this update. I've seen that on both my devices. Now, something else I have noticed that um, was in preview and I was waiting for it to roll out in my region in preview. That's why I didn't post a video on it. But I see now it's made its way into the stable version where Microsoft is now expanding its widgets feature that you get on the lock screen for Windows 10 and Windows 11, um, now into Microsoft Edge, believe it or not. So I always say on the channel, Edge OS, it's almost became, becoming its own operating system. And this is just another feature now that Microsoft seems to be rolling out um, using a controlled rollout. And I have noticed it today with this update now. The reason I'm showing you this on my Windows 10 device is because it's not on my Windows 11, only on my Windows 10 device. So if we go to our page settings, you'll see now another toggle in this section, show widgets. And there we go. It's off by default. And there's my weather widget. Now you can get some other widgets. So basically you can get access to your weather, as you can see in my example, finance, sports, and traffic information, very similar to what we have over on Windows 11 and Windows 10. And I am not seeing the other widgets rolling out yet in my region. I have fiddled around a little bit. I'm not getting um, any access to those, but I have got the, the, um, uh, the weather. So obviously, if you click on this, it'll take you over to the weather in Microsoft Edge. And if you click on the three-dotted menu, you can add a location, you can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, report an issue. You can hide this widget, which is always good. You can turn off all widgets, which is also nice. And then you can manage widgets. And if you click on that, it takes you over to MSN. And you can manage your widgets and cards and, 
and everything from this page. So that's an interesting little change that Microsoft is rolling out. And of course, if you want to turn it off, you can just head back and pop it off, pop it on. And um, let me know if you are seeing this because it could be that Microsoft is A-B testing this feature, the widgets, because it was in preview a couple of days ago and then just suddenly it's made its way into the stable. So they may be A-B testing it with a limited subset of users and it may be region specific, but let me know if you are seeing any of these widgets on the Edge um, new tab page. And something else just to mention is that as I've posted previously, when Edge version 131 rolled out, um, the edit new tab page background received quite a lot of um, changes. And I'll leave that video linked uh, down below in the end screen. So Microsoft really focusing on this page settings menu and now the latest edition is this being able to show widgets. So interesting stuff going on. So quite, quite a lot going on with this latest point release update for the Edge browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.